presents High Adventure in the Vast Reaches of Space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol. Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol, as often as possible, finds time to train his cadet, Happy. It was during one of their training flights that an unforeseen accident and the attempted rehabilitation of an outlaw started a series of events destined to involve Buzz and Happy in an extremely dangerous adventure. So stand by for tonight's exciting Space Patrol adventure, immediately following this important announcement. A great name comes to television when the Pulitzer Prize Playhouse raises its telecurtain weekly on this channel. The American Broadcasting Company proudly presents these thrilling dramatizations of prize-winning talents, hailed by the press as the finest video shows ever produced. The Pulitzer name is honored everywhere as a pioneer in maintaining superb standards in all faces of journalistic and artistic entertainment. Now these talents come to life on the Pulitzer Prize Playhouse weekly on your local American Broadcasting Company television station. It's first-class theater entertainment right in your own living room. You'll see the creations of the world's greatest playwrights brought to life by your favorite actors of the stage and screen. Pulitzer Prize Playhouse has already brought you the performances of Helen Hayes, Judith Anderson, Albert Decker, Florence Reed. And there are more in store for you every week on this same channel. Remember, when it's a Pulitzer play, it's a great play. exciting Space Patrol adventure. Now, Happy, you're checking out in fine shape on your training flight today. Yes, sir. And maybe it's because I enjoy my work so much. Huh? You really do like to fly this spaceship, don't you? Uh, I sure do, Commander. I don't think there's anything I'd rather be doing right now. Or any time, it seems to me. Yeah. Uh, do you hear that? Yes, sir, I do. Doesn't sound very good. No, sir. Well, maybe your ship's uh, objecting to my flying, Commander. Uh, it sounds more like the cosmic mass reaction generator to me. Throw an automatic pilot. We'll go back and check it. Right, sir. Commander, do you want me to try to fix it? Uh, I'm on a training flight, and that's part of my training. Yeah, if you want to, Happy. Check the main power cable for a short. I think that's what it is. Right, sir. Now, that's beginning to sound better, huh? Be careful you don't touch that open wire. You could get a nasty cosmic ray burn. Yeah. Well, go! Woo! Hey, let go of it! Woo! I can't! That was hot. You see that hand? Oh, we've got to get you to medical science center and get that hand treated. I'm sorry. The cosmic gray burn can be bad, Happy. It can be fatal. We'll call medical science center and tell them we're on our way. Let's go. Is that a hat? Getting dizzy? Get your teeth, boy. Hang on. Get to the terror in no time. Here, I'll give you a hand. Dr. McKeever, report to surgery. Dr. McKeever, report to surgery. Front desk calling Tonga. Front desk calling Tonga. Yes? Uh, there's another customer coming in for you, Tonga. Another customer? Another cosmic burn victim. Looks like today's going to be my busy day. Ever since you discovered that radurium was loose, useful to counteract cosmic burns, every day has been your busy day. <laughs> Maybe I should have joined the medical science center staff permanently. 
Uh, by the way, who is the patient? Uh, a friend of yours, Tonga. Commander Corey's cadet Happy. Happy? Is he badly burned? Uh, the commander didn't say, but it's his hand. We know that. All right, I'll get a rhodium glove ready for him. Have him brought to room 221. It's right across the hall from here. I'll be handier. All right. Out. I hope Happy isn't badly burnt. Hang on, Happy. We'll be landing on Terra in a minute. We'll go from the spaceport to Medical Science Center through the emergency tunnel. Yes, sir. I'll be all right, Commander. It doesn't hurt much. Say, Commander, I won't have to stay in a Medical Science Center very long, will I? Uh, Happy, you want to stay there more than a few hours. They have a new cure for cosmic burns now. It doesn't take long at all. A new cure, sir? Uh-huh. They durium. As a matter of fact, it's a recent discovery of Tonga's. Tonga? Well, I thought she was at Medical Science Center as a specialist to cure criminals in her mental quirks. Uh, she is, but she also developed radurium as a cure for cosmic burns. She'll be the one to take care of this, then? That's right, Happy. As soon as we get there. Dr. McKeever, report to surgery. Dr. McKeever, report to surgery. Uh, come back here. Now look, get in there. Well, Major Robertson. Here, yeah, Tonga. Here's another one for you. Delivered by the security chief in person. I wouldn't trust this one to a guard. This is Kessler, Tonga. Kessler? Oh, yes. I heard Commander Corey had captured him. All right. So Corey brought me in. Doesn't mean I'm going to stay. Don't try anything, Kessler. Well, let's cut the conversation then. Whatever you're going to do, get it over with. Well, look, Tonga, if you're ready to start treatment, I'll stick around. Oh, I see. Big time to trace his past for the brainograph, and then with Happy coming Happy. in. What happened to him? He got a bad cosmic burn during a training flight. Commander Corey's bringing you in. Well, I guess we'd better put him in suspended animation till you... You're putting me in suspended animation! Yes, I can! Now look, get in that dematerialization chamber. But he's going to be if he tries that again. Oh, my prisoners are always so afraid of suspended animation. Spainless things? Harmless. Oh, they're not afraid of it. It's just they know that once they're dematerialized and their bodies are stored on an electronic frequency, they can't escape. Well, I guess you're right there. Well, let's get at it then. We can oh, bring him back sorry. later for treatment. I'll get a frequency for him, Robbie. Okay. Well, he sure looks awfully unhappy. Most dangerous criminal in the United Planets. Well, we'll make a good citizen out of him. Don't worry about that. Oh, is this the frequency yeah. for him? Yeah. Well, okay. Let's go. Okay, Tonga. When you want me to bring him out again, call me. I want to be here. Because until this guy Kessler's cured, he'll bear watching. See you later. Commander Corey calling Tonga. Yes? I've just brought Happy in. We're in room 221. All right, I'll be right over. Tonga? Let's see that hand, Happy. Is it bad, Tonga? 
bad enough that you have to stay in bed for a couple of hours. What's that thing you got there? That's a radurium glove, Happy. Does it, does it hurt? No. It's in radioactive properties that counteract the cosmic radiation. Well, it has, huh? Yes, but it can be left on only for a very short time. After that, the radurium itself becomes dangerous. Dangerous? Yes, if it were left on your hand too long, it could even become fatal. Smoking rockets. That's why you have to stay here at Medical Science Center, Happy, so Tonga can remove the glove at just the right time. Well, well you, you, you won't forget to take it off, will you, Tonga, when, when the time comes? <laughs> Don't worry, Happy. We haven't lost a patient yet. You notice, Happy? She said yet. So you'd better behave yourself while you're here. Oh, of course I'll behave myself, Commander. Oh, of course, of course. Honest, I will. Besides, I can't get into much trouble with this big, heavy glove on my hand. Okay, Hap. You're in Tonga's care. Oh, I'll leave my miniature space phone here for you. You can call me in case you get lost. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll see you later this afternoon. Goodbye, Tonga. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, sir. And don't worry. Now, Happy, I want you to promise me that you'll stay in bed. It could be dangerous if you moved about too soon. I'll come back in time to take the glove off. Oh, are you leaving too? Yes, I'm taking a criminal named Kessler out of suspended animation to give him a brainograph hey. treatment. Oh, thank you, Ben. Oh, oh, come on in. I'm Hi, just about through. Hi, Hap. How are you feeling? <laughs> oh, he'll be feeling all right if he stays in bed. No, well, I can't do much of anything else anyway. I'm so weak now from this. <laughs> well, I'll go across the hall and get everything ready for Kessler. You better come back pretty soon. He's got to rest, you know. No, okay, Tiger. So, how are you feeling? What happened? Well, now, give I'm me all the I details. Did. Yeah, how I, I did I know what happened? You tried no, to get I... a cosmic generator it fixed with, well, with the cover off. Well, I... Well, you I know what happened to me the time I, I tried it? There was a shortened thing, and I didn't have any... Oh, Robbie, you're back soon. Yeah, I have, didn't feel like talking much. Well, everything's all ready. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Hey, here we go. Okay, I'll go get him. All right. Well, how do you feel? I feel all right, considering where I am. We're here to help you, Kessler, to discover what made you commit these crimes. I don't want any help from you or anybody. Yeah, we know that. We're going to try anyway. What are you going to do? You'll be subject to a brainograph treatment. It's completely harmless. Well, I don't know. Oh, you won't even feel it. Well, perhaps I might go along with your little game at that. If... Now, you just stand over here. Robbie, will you get me the metal headpiece over there? Oh, sure, Tom. Maybe you didn't believe me when I said I didn't want any help. You'll never get out of your life. All the doors are guarded. I'm afraid I'll have to take that chance. Just to be sure that you won't warn anybody. You know, I kind of hate to do this. You're sort of pretty. Get away from me! We'll be back for more adventures with Space Patrol in just one moment. But first, a special message. Remember that old proverb, it's later than you think? Now is the time to plan for, to build for a secure tomorrow. Yes, take the time now to make your future secure at the defense bond way. While you save, you aid your nation's defenses. 
One of the easiest, safest ways to save for the future is to buy United States defense bonds through the part payment payroll savings plan where you work. Join the payroll savings plan today. Have a definite sum put aside from your check every payday. It's the automatic, systematic way to save for the future. And now it helps to defend your country. If you're self-employed, join the bond a month plan at your bank. Remember, United States defense bonds return an extra dollar for every three saved in just 10 years. And they're absolutely guaranteed by the United States government. If they're lost, stolen, or destroyed, your government will replace them without charge. Remember, defense is your job. Buy United States defense bonds. And now, back to Space Patrol. Happy is confined to Medical Science Center for treatment of a cosmic radiation burn. Right across the hall, a dangerous criminal named Kessler has just escaped. Meanwhile, Commander Corey, unaware of the activity at Medical Science Center, has returned to his quarters. Commander Corey from Cadet Happy. Cadet Happy calling Commander Corey. I thought I'd be hearing from him. Cadet Happy calling Commander Corey. This is Commander Corey, and the answer is no. You can't leave the hospital until Tonga releases you. Well, well, well how did you know that I, I mean, well, well, smoke and rockets, Commander. I'm just sitting here all alone. Can I even get out for just a little while? But you've only been in there for a little while, Happy. I'll tell you what. Yes, sir? I'm all through over here, and I was thinking of coming over and keeping you company until you leave. Oh, fine, sir. That'll be swell. Right away, Commander? Right away, Happy. Oh, great, sir. I'll, I'll wait right here for you. Yes, whatever you do, don't leave until I get there. Huh? Oh, oh no, Commander. I won't be going anywhere for a while, sir. Happy out. Anytime, Cadet, you tell him. Huh? What? Oh, guard, I, I didn't see you come in. I didn't think you did. Uh, well, what do you want? I want to set you right on two counts, Cadet. What do you mean? Number one, I'm not a guard. And number two, you will be going someplace before Commander Corey gets here. What are you talking about? And what's the idea of just walking into my room like this? You ask too many questions. Now just behave and you won't get hurt. And what's the idea of that ray gun? The name is Kessler. Kessler? Boy, you're the criminal that, that Tonga's gonna cure. What's going to cure? What have you done to her? Yes. Why, you... Stop right where you are. And don't pull that weak act on me. Okay. Okay, you, you got the ray gun. What do you want with me? That's better. Hmm. An upper class primary cadet, huh? So much the better. Uh, I'm glad you're impressed. Just be sure you impress the guards when we get out of here. We're going to the spaceport to take a nice little ride in a spaceship. You got everything figured out, haven't you, Kessler? You bet I have. There's a tunnel leading from here directly to the spaceport. And you're going to see that I get through it safely. Understand? Yeah, it's easy to understand with, with that ray gun pointed at me. Don't get wise, cadet. All right, out that door. And remember, just play it straight. What's the matter with you? I guess I got up a little too early, that's all. Yeah, that's tough. Now get going. Corey calling information desk. Information? Go ahead, Commander. I'm in room 221. Cadet Happy isn't here. Has he been released? Oh, just a moment, sir. Why, no, Commander. He's still registered in room 221. Oh, thank you. Oh, by the way, where can I find Tonga? Oh, just across the corridor, Commander. The rehabilitation room. Oh, I see. Thank you. Corey out. <laughs> I might have known. I'll find that my cadet has suddenly acquired a great interest in the rehabilitation of criminals. Oh, 
Wanda. Oh. Here, let me help you out. What no, universe no. happened? Kessler. He, Kessler, you were treating me. He got away. Him? I had just got it to win. Quick, we've got to do something. Hey, you better sit he down. He's robbing me. No, I'm all right. I tried to get you, too. Yes. Kessler's a man of violent action, I know. Look, I'd better send out a general alarm. Kessler still may be in the building. Commander Corey calling front desk. Send out a general alarm. Kessler has escaped. Alert the guards at all entrances. He's armed and dangerous. Corey out. I hope they catch him before he does any harm. Could be hidden in one of the rooms. No telling what he'd do to the patients. Patients? Happy, that's it. He's not in his room. It's right across the corridor from this one. That means that Kessler either took him as a hostage or that Happy saw him escape and he's trailing him. But Happy's hand. He's got to stay in, he in bed. But we're doing blood. Yes, I know. We've got to find him. I'll go with you. you. Sure you feel all right? I'm all right, Commander. Okay, we'll send a doctor back for Robbie. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, Mr. Keever. Report for surgery. Dr. McKeever. All right, none of that. What are you... What's your hurry? You're doing all right so far? I'm going to continue to do all right. You'll see to that. I will? You will. Just like you saw me pass the hospital guards back there. You'll do the same thing when we come out of the spaceport. And just... Just what do you do if I... If I just can't make it? Oh! oh. That'll give you a rough idea. I just had two hands, Kessler, but you have it. Get going! Commander Corey calling front desk. Go ahead, sir. Has anyone sighted uh, Cadet Happy or Kessler? I'm glad you called, sir. The guard at the entrance of the spaceport tunnel reports that a space patrol cadet and another man went through there a few minutes ago. That's it. Thank you. Corey out. I'm going after them. We've got to find him soon. In a few more minutes, Happy won't have a chance. Well, Claude, we'll take the elevator down to the first level. I don't think we've had time to take off yet. Oh, we've got to find him soon. That glove should be off Happy's hand right now, and he doesn't know it. Space control from Commander Corey, emergency. Space control here. Go ahead, sir. Close all the atmosphere locks. Allow no ships to pass through under any circumstances without my permission. Can you hear me, space control? There'll be some disturbance on my space control. Wait a minute. What is it, Commander? Watch, I'll turn the space phone to the right. Stopped. Turn it back to the left. And there it is again. Commander, we can't waste any more time. We've got to look for Happy. Just it, Tonga. We don't have to look for them. We've found them. What do you mean we've found them? The Regurium glove Happy's wearing. It's radioactive. That's what's causing this disturbance in the space room. Turn it this, uh, this side, the directional antenna. Turn it back and forth. I get the loudest disturbance when it's directed right toward Happy and that Regurium glove. Tonga, get to the space control. Make sure those locks are closed. I'm going on. Get that glove off Happy's head. All right, now get on that space phone and call space control. Get clearance through the Jupiter locks. Did you hear me? So, you think you can pull that on me, huh? Okay, you asked for it. Hey. Well, if it isn't the great Commander Corey, I've always wanted a chance to get even with you, and it looks like I've got it now. Too bad you won't be around to know what happened, Corey. But here it comes. Oh. Oh. 
feet. <laughs> oh, that brain durium glove. I got to get it off. We'll return to Space Patrol in just one moment. But first, a message of importance. She'll be at your house every week on this channel, and we kind of think you'll be happy to have her around. Who? Why, Beulah, of course. Everyone knows and loves this gallivanting gal, especially as she's played by Ethel Waters, one of the great ladies in the American theater. Every week on this ABC station, Beulah just about takes you by the hand and leads you off to laughs, domestic drama, and capricious comedy. Your television entertainment begins with Beulah, the delightful Jill of all trades, who patches up everything from quarrels to quilts. There's never a problem when Beulah's around, because she knows just how to keep those blue skies smiling for everyone. Yes, it's the same wonderful Beulah you loved in radio, now on television calling on you and your family on your local American Broadcasting Company station. So be ready for fun, be ready for laughs, be ready for bright times with Beulah. Now back to Space Patrol. Gee, Commander, I, I'm sure glad you got this radurium glove off my hand in time. Well, I don't know, Happy. Maybe you should leave it on all the time. It makes a pretty good weapon. Yeah, it sure does. I've been saving it till I got a chance to use it, but that guy Kessler would never take his eyes off me. It looks like the Commander found you just in time. Yeah. Well, how did you find me, Commander? Well, your uh, radurium glove, Happy, it's radioactive. It caused interference on my miniature spacer phone. I used it as a locator. Interference. Yeah. What's funny about that? Well, I was just thinking, Commander, it is this radurium glove not only interfered with your spacer phone, it also interfered with Kessler's head. <laughs> hey, don't you get it? Kessler's head? He was there like this, and I took the glove, and I... Oh! Huh? Oh. 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 Oh, my hand. Oh, 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 my hand. Oh. <laughs> Once again, Buzz and Happy's quick thinking and daring have prevented a dangerous situation from turning into disaster. However, events now taking place along the space lanes are going to mean more thrills and some exciting action in space for Buzz Corey and Cadet Happy. So be sure to be with us next week and every week when ABC brings you thrills and excitement with Space Patrol. The preceding program, originally telecast by ABC in Hollywood, has come to you by special video recording. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.